This literally looks like a proactive commercial. I've never had acne like this. I don't know. I was just like trying to figure, I was trying to pin it on something. What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys how my facial went completely wrong. And before I get into the video, I do wanna do a little quick disclaimer because this is an esthetician that I've gone to, an esthetician that I've trusted, and um, or I trust, and an esthetician that um, performs a high level of service. I don't believe that it was the esthetician's fault. I think that it was a learning experience for the both of us. Yeah, so let me just go ahead and start from like our chronological sequence. So I went in to get a green peel and mind you, I've gotten a green peel before and I got amazing results. So I thought, let me get another one so that I could take my skin to the next level. So if you guys don't know what a green peel is or no um, peels as like chemical peels where basically the whole top layer of your skin peels off and you get like a new beautiful layer it takes away hyperpigmentation and all of that so the service itself was great the spa is amazing the overall experience was amazing everything was sanitary i go home the esthetician gives me my post care um, products that i have to use everything was basically as it was the first time so then when I wake up the next morning, everything looked fine, but I started to notice that there was hyperpigmentation that was actually becoming darker. And in my head, I was like, okay, this is usually what happens when it peels because I like to give an example of like when you have a, um, a scab, the scab actually gets darker before it peels off naturally. So I was like, okay, maybe this is just my skin getting darker because there's hyperpigmentation and it's getting ready to peel off. I do the night treatment because you have a different treatment for the night and I wake up the next day and this is what my skin looks like. So at this point I'm raising a little bit of concern because I, it, it doesn't look like it did the previous time. So I'm like, okay, maybe there's just, this is more intense. Maybe my skin is just reacting different. So I go on about my day. So then I go to sleep, I wake up, I did the night treatment the previous night, and this is what my skin looks like. So I'm like, okay, what the hell is going on? Because my skin did not do this the last time. Like, at this point, it started to become bumps. So at that point, I knew there was something wrong. So I'm like, okay, maybe I shouldn't have gone out for lunch. Um, maybe I should have switched my pillowcases before because as y'all know, if you watch my other videos, I've been protective style and put a whole bunch of oil in my hair. So I'm like, okay, let me switch my pillowcases. Let me clean my bed linen. And I'm like, you know what? Just, just, just stay in the house all day. And then tomorrow it'll be fine. I have very, 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 very sensitive skin. So after I wash my face or even if I like scratch, I'll get red. So I'm like, okay. Let me wait for my skin to cool down and see what it looks like. So this is after I actually washed my face. So it looks a lot more red and more inflamed because I do have sensitive skin. And then this is what it looked like about two hours, three hours later when it actually cooled down. So I'm thinking, okay, you know, it's not as bad as it looks. Let me just stay in the house all day, follow the instructions and see how this goes. So I go to sleep. I put on the night cream, I have new fresh sheets, I have new fresh pillowcases, I was inside all day, I didn't sweat, I didn't do anything that I was not supposed to do. Another thing is you're not allowed to wear makeup. So don't try to put makeup over it if you do decide to get this. Follow the esthetician's rules and um, like look, use the products that they're giving you. So I go to sleep, I wake up and this is what it looked like it's like before I even touched and washed my face. It definitely looked worse, but it wasn't inflamed. So I was like, okay, maybe it's like one of those, it gets worse before it gets better type of things. So I washed my face and this is what my face looked like. This literally looks like a proactive commercial. I've never had acne like this. It wasn't even acne, it was like an infection. Yo, what's going on with my skin? My skin should not look like this after I got a green peel. So at this point, I'm not mad and I'm actually calm. Like I didn't cry, I didn't freak out. I was just like, okay, something has to be wrong. 
even through like my teenage hormonal years or even like hormonal birth, birth control when I had breakouts, my skin has never looked like this. And it wasn't even pimples, it was like little pussy, like infection type of breakouts. And I'm like, yo, what if I'm in, I, I must be allergic to the products. So I'm like, forget these products, I wash my face this is after I washed it so it's completely inflamed and then I started breaking out on the other side even more so I'm like okay I have to be allergic to the products it's the products I'm allergic and then I'm thinking I'm like yo you you got this procedure before you use these products before your skin may be sensitive but you're, you're not allergic to anything so then I'm like okay maybe let me stop using the product so I wash my face completely clean and because you're getting a peel your skin is actually more dry because it's 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 trying to you know show a new layer of skin so I wash my face there's nothing on it whatsoever and it's so dry it's almost itchy and in my head I'm like okay if I'm scratching my face and it's itchy it, it could potentially spread because I don't know I don't know I was just, I, I didn't know what I was thinking. So I was like, okay, mind you, it's a day where the actual spa is closed. And this is the day where my skin looks the worst. So I'm like, okay, I have to just ride this out and figure this out by myself. So I put the treatment back on my skin, just the moisturizer, just so that my skin wasn't dry. And I had like a million, not a million, but I had so many white little bumps and I'm like, okay I don't want to pop them I don't want to touch them I don't want to even like rub and go to a different part of my face because this doesn't look it's not acne it's like it could potentially spread so I'm not gonna lie at this point I was a little bit sad and irritated just because I wanted to work out and I couldn't do that it's not like I could film a video and it wasn't like I could go out in public so I just had to literally sit in the house and just look at myself so but one thing I knew for sure is I was like, okay, I've never even had skin like this. Like I keep saying throughout my teenage years or the times where I had a very hormonal acne because of my birth control. So whatever it is, it's a problem and it could be fixed and my skin is going to go back to normal. As long as I call the esthetician, I'm going to be straight. I'm going to just have to be in the house all day, try to get some work done and just ignore it. The following day... I called the esthetician and I actually sent her or I, I sent the esthetician pictures and she was like come in immediately so I came in and this is what my skin looked like when I was going in so this is what my skin looked like a few hours after I had washed it and my skin has calmed down so you can see there's still a lot of breakouts but it's not as inflamed she was so shocked and she looked so distraught. We're sitting down and she's asking me questions like, did you put makeup on? Did you do this? Did you do that? Have you been using the treatment? I told her, yeah, like I've been switching my pillowcases. I've been wearing my hair out of my face. I don't know what happened. And then I told her, I was like, maybe I'm allergic to the products. And she's like, no, like these products are great. There's something that you're supposed to use after you get a green peel and you've used the products before. So if it was the products, it would be all over your face and mind you my whole front face the front of my face was fine it was just my jawline on this side was super bad and then on this side it was like by my ear so we're sitting there and we're thinking and she's like oh my god we waxed your face before we did this treatment the only difference in my first procedure versus my second procedure is that we wax my face and when she asked for me she when she's like okay let's wax your face in my head there was like a little red flag like should you be waxing your face before you get something like a green peel but like I said I trust this esthetician and she does amazing work and she's been doing this for years so I'm like okay if she says you can wax before then okay wax my face but another thing that I should have done is I know I have very sensitive skin and I know that my skin gets red very easily so I should have probably just said no let's wax my face like when I come up for a follow-up or something like that but the only area where I actually broke out is right here and the only area where she waxed was literally right here she didn't wax my lip she literally just waxed my little sideburns that I have and after we both figured that out um, I actually pretty much got a whole nother facial, but this facial was obviously completely different. She uh, did a whole bunch of extractions on the bumps. Um, she used like a high frequency, I'm not sure if it's a laser or what, but basically zapped everything to take away all of the um, 
the inflammation and the infection and just any active bumps that I had. My skin looked great. The only thing is, is my skin was very, like, it was like uh, a whole bunch of little scabs. So it was definitely textured, but it was the type of texture where you knew that was gonna like peel up and flake off in a few days and I was gonna be fine. So this is what it looked like immediately after and you guys can see that it was a world of a difference. So for the next few days, I basically just had rough scabs all over my face and they eventually all just kind of came off. And this is what my skin looked like right before I filmed this video. So as you can see, there's like one active bump. There's a lot of hyperpigmentation, but my jawline looks completely good. So this is what my skin is looking like right now. As of right now, the products that I've been using is my acne.org system, the cleanser, and then the AHA. As of right now, I'm just sticking to those products. I do plan to get a green pill um, again, just because I know I get great results from it and I kind of need it at this point because I do have so much hyperpigmentation. And this is just a true testament that not everything goes as planned like whether you're somebody who makes videos about beauty related things or not like things happen even if you go to the best of the best places and you try new things or you try things that you've already tried before this is just a learning experience that i wanted to share with y'all because this is something that the esthetician normally does and for me it just didn't work so before you guys do get any type of facial or peel or anything like that, just for safety, take my advice and do not wax your face. I'm going to share this, the rest of this journey with you guys to get my skin where it was before I actually even got the peel. Uh, I want to show you guys my skincare routine that fixed my skin 100%, which was actually recommended by all of my supporters on Instagram. And yeah. So that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned from it. And I hope y'all never have to go through this experience. Um, thank you guys so much for watching my video. And I will see you in the next upload. Bisous!